Okay, so I'm now going to look at the process of putting a quote through the system, turning it into an order, taking a deposit, um, and the stock impacts as well. So here, if I go into sales, then here I can do a new quote. And I can fill the quote information in as appropriate. I'll just pause the recording while I enter this in. So now in the system, I've got some quote information and I've also got a series of products on this quote. Now, one thing to note here is I have already put the payment terms in, including a deposit, uh, but you don't necessarily need to do this uh, within the quote. So here, if I click on approve, oh, my mistake. Um, so we'll say it's gonna be ordered in four weeks time and 50% probability of winning. and we'll approve this. Now, if I copy this across to a sales order, so the, the customer said, go ahead, I'm happy with your quote. So we copy this all across to a sales order, which gets a sales order number just here, copies all of the items in here, and we can now treat this as normal. Now we've got here 14 days, 50% deposit, um, what I would do here is if I wanted to dispatch these goods, I could do that. Otherwise, if we're not going to move this product yet, what I would do is just mark the invoice for today. If I save to review, I haven't dispatched any product, so there's no impact on my stock on hand currently within the system. But I have an invoice here in the system. If I click up the top, then I can see our standard invoice details here, and you'll see the payment shows that 50% is due by deposit, has not been paid. The final payment is 2,700, which is due uh, in 14 days time. Now you, you need to set some kind of date. Uh, so I've set 14 days here, but this is customizable and the 50% is customizable. So you can start to see this information here. What you would then do is receive that uh, within zero when they pay that uh, amount. So if I go back here to transaction, uh, when that amount is paid, that will be reconciled in zero or QuickBooks or whatever your accounting platform is. You'll see here uh, the information, or if you are taking that payment from them, you could reconcile it within uh, Sin7. Uh, what you would then do is when you're ready to move the product, you would just mark it fully dispatched. And you'll see here that it tells me I can't because there's not enough stock of some products. So here, if I wanted to, I can, so you can see here, uh, there's not enough. If I uh, wanted to, I could just click into quantity to dispatch. If I wished to, and just mark that I'm going to move that out. Otherwise, you just leave it sat there as invoiced. So hopefully that makes sense. The payments make sense, the deposits, and the nature of turning quotes into orders.